us. So anyone else want to join in, please? Dr. Willis. Ah, hello. May I say something? Uh, just to thank please. you, Tom, for his presentation. And I really think that imaging, diagnosis, and treatment are very good friends with energy work because they are a big testimony of what can the energy work do. When, when we didn't have all these machines, we would have this to see where, where there is water flowing or where there are uh, energy crosses. And now we have ultrasound, MRI, um, emission pho photons, uh, tomography, a lot of things that they are just a testimony of what happens inside. The thing is, you don't need to see that because you can sense it. But we as, a, as Western medicine, uh, we are not trained to sense that way. Maybe we are intuitive, but we are not trained. So we need this type of uh, collaboration with other machines and to do diagnosis complementary. But I see a lot of things coming together with what Tom uh, was talking before. For example, the, the thing about targeting is not just that they put a patient in a bed and bah, shockwave everywhere, no, in a place. And I see that you, when you do emission to patients, you don't go with your hands around all over the place. You go to certain parts of the body, like upper tantien, middle tantien, or in, in the way of the meridian. Also, he showed about the flow, the blood flow. If the, if the direction was good, the, the, the organ was healthy. And I can see that in acupuncture, for, ex, for example, when, a, when, a, when you treat a patient with acupuncture, you try to follow the direction of the meridian. I, I see a professional that, that goes with the needle like this or like this or like this in favor or against the flow of the meridian. And I think it's, it's a lot of do, it has a lot of do, a lot of, sorry, I can say the word. Um, it has a lot of correlation with our inner energy just that it's the way body respond to a stimulus, like ultrasound or the, the body inside and uh, big electromagnetic fields, like it would be a, a, a MRI. So, and as you were talking before with the heat and the low frequency, if I may, I have in my cell phone, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't, uh, prepare this, but this was a patient, maybe, maybe I can show it like this. This is a patient that had a lot of, um, um, I, I don't know how to say this in English, but it's called dermatitis. Um, and this is how it looks with the, yeah. with the camera. In English, it's all white because because it, it sends temperature. Oh, and yeah, it we make dermatite, it, sorry, dermatite. We make English. some sessions of qigong. Here, here he is, and I will show you how he was then. So, this was before, and this. This is his skin now. So what I'm trying to say is that maybe these complementary imaging diagnoses are only for the people that don't believe or don't understand the way energy works. But it's just a testimony, like it could be a photograph of a patient. Uh, but I think you already, Professor, it's, it's good to, to, to share, but maybe you don't need all this because you already sense it. It's just for people that don't understand. 
Well, you can't blame people who don't understand because in the Asian Chinese term, we just call it energy work, you know, the same like, you know, normal English energy work because we cannot see things. And when you're not seeing things, people tend not to, you know, believe that existence of it. So that is the problem. So in, you know, we call yin yi sheng ho, is before it had any forms. So study of before the form, that was a few thousand years old quote. But today it's different now because with all the scientific thing, we can see a lot of stuff now. It's just now this is smashed, you know, the God's pot particle, isn't it? I mean, before what is a nucleus? We don't, we can't even see in an atom. And now we, we talk about quark, we talk about up, 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 you know, up and down and things like that. And you know, then smash the God's particle. And so with all this advance in technology, we can see things that we cannot see before. The entire universe is made of particles. Now we are particles, if you want to call it, you know. So that's why this is a macrocosmic out there and you know, microcosmic in here. We came from the universe, isn't it? So we are dust, stardust. Of course, if we can, the ancient Chinese believe that if we can connect, you can use the word connect, okay, with the big sources of energy out there, of course it's gonna do something to us. Right? Yeah. But my, myself, I only specialize right in the methodology. So how the brain way turn, because at the end of the day, like now we are talking about, you know, the shall we say we're all awake now. So then I've been, you know, in Hong Kong University, I've been using the, you know, the uh, the brain, the obviously the brain frequency. So now we are in beta. So my speciality is how we, without using any machine, now we can throw all kind of machine, beautiful machine out there. But to me, there's no machine. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Just like you know, the Hong Kong professor, I said, oh, let's go to go go to Africa. There's no machine in Africa. So what are you going to do? So I'm a human. You can tell me I'm a human machine. You can I can say I can do you know, the traumatic view of sound wave and whatever you call it. Yeah, so I can change the people's brainwave from beta to alpha and then alpha to theta and then theta to delta. So this is what I'm specializing in without using anything, using your, you know, our own, your own, our inborn. We are born with it. We are born with all this, you know, obviously energy out there because we were animals. That's why I keep on quoting back with the animal instincts. You know, so if you look at all the birds just now, the huge, you know, micro, macrocosmic energy happened in Turkey, then they're detecting it, right? So we should be able to detect everything as well. So that's why when, when uh, we passed, when I put the sensitivity training, right? I can sense because I'm detecting where the blockages is. Is it a musculoskeletal blockages? Is it a biochemical blockages? Or is it a neurological blockages? And before I can identify it, then I have to, you know, obviously I zap them up, you know, I put a bit of energy to people and people spasm. So that's why when they come out with the five animals, musculoskeletal spasm, those through the, like the birds, so the birds, if it's a meridian, the pericardium here and the heart here, and the people's hands start flicking and the tongue start coming out, you know, and very happy, so emotionally. So the ancient Chinese recording it said, no, this is something to do with the heart. So I did not make things up. I'm only a research fellow. It's been recorded for a thousand, a thousand of years. It just matter I spent 17 years reading all the old texts, which obviously you can't because it's in Chinese. So my job now is try to translating all this for the last 28 years to try to put it in front. And I found that there is a lot of, shall we say, resistance there's a lot of resistance you know even in the medical world but are we not just trying to help patients why 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 why, why all this narrative have i not helped people i can't remember how many how many people i, I help even with successful case in cancer four stage four liver metastasis stage four leukemia i stay for liver you know uh, lymphoma and also multiple sclerosis so, but I don't understand how it works. The body heals itself. I'm not going to say that I'm a healer. Nobody can heal anybody on this planet. We can only trigger the patience for self-healing because we are all different. 
So therefore you have astuminations external, and then depending on the patients, how he reacts, isn't it? So that is why the susceptibility between macrocosmic energy and human energy and the interactions. So we are all talking about the same thing. So that's why what I'm trying to do is, right? Yeah, it's beautiful, you know, with all the machine and all the invention these days because science is moving forward. But what happened if there's no such a machine? Huh? What are you going to do? Oh, you're right. You're very right. Well, there and you go. I, are we not the human I, machine? Are we not the human <laughs> machine? So that's oh, you are a marvelous machine. You are a marvelous machine. No, we all are. <laughs> we all are. So that's what the problem is. That's why I'm putting up a, a curriculum back to Beijing University to train more, to train more internal Naidan, you know, Taoist medicine physicians. And you know, it, it got me thinking also something about in common with imaging and this treatment, the doctors, and what you always say that we have to learn first to control it because yeah. he talked about different frequencies when it's to diagnosis or for treatment, you don't give any type of shock wave. You have to control it because if then you, you rip apart the body. So this thing about controlling, what kind of stimul uh, stimuli you give to the, to the body for the body to heal. And also about the pulsing thing they were talking earlier, the body responds to a rhythm when you sense the change of rhythm, the body will respond to, to that as the birds flowing away before the earthquake. That's why we also have to make diagnosis during the therapy because every day or every second, the body would, would change according to the therapy, isn't it? So it's a good thing because that's how it changes. Let's just say the minus is suddenly, you know, they find it changing and you have to, that's why we have to use five element theory because the, the organs energies are changing. The, the hormones which regulate the hormone, you know, to regulate all the health status of each hormones are different. So we have to, you know, help the other hormone to try to like the five elements theory, you know, either increasing the, you know, the, the night down or diminishing, you know, the biochemical reaction thing. So that is why even when you put it into the bone setting, right? Or today you call it cow practice or physiotherapy because I've taught in many, many university, in different university, in fact, in faculty. There are techniques in thousands of years that, you know, like you say, you, you sense the energy flow of the muscular skeletal systems, but the reversing techniques, you're actually redirecting the float of that energy of the muscular skeleton. So these are the thing that, you know, you have to feel it. So even the Western, unfortunately at the moment, there's no, no machine can do that, but human can, because we have this the biggest, biggest machine, you know, is our, the, uh, or, or, or the muscle, the muscle layers, and all the, all the pores, because that is how we train the embryonic breathing, and we're using, using the embryonic breathing techniques to sensitize people. So this is what I'm specializing in. But now I have to draw parallels, so allowing other people, especially Western, Western medicine professions, to, to accept that, yeah, we're talking about the same thing, Right? Yeah, we only had to try to help people. Like Tom was saying that, you know, NHS is almost collapsing now soon in the in, in UK because they want to change it into privatization. So the whole thing is going to go through now. So if you got 10,000 pounds, that Tom was saying that in the hospital, you got people with a suit going around in trolley in, as people are now laying in, in, in the UK NHS on the trolley and in, in the alleyway or waiting in the in the uh, in the ambulance and the people with a smart suit with a car. If you got ten thousand pound, you if you have ten thousand pound, get this insurance scheme. You don't have to wait. That's private insurance. So the whole thing's going to change to private insurance soon. But that's politics. And I, we don't want to get involved. But this is people's medicines. So that's why I'm trying to. Tom trying to put it. That's why Tom, Tom was trying to ask me to work with him to put the. Uh, 
put this into his hospitals. So I hope that later on more more of us can use that to help people. Of course, you know, I'm, I will not say that, you know, everybody can do it because when you learn it, when you train it, you take time, isn't it? And a lot of time that people don't have time. People just want to lay there. Eh, give me the tablet. Just like when I start teaching people the exercise. Oh, you're doing it again. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a lot of problem, haven't we? So, but still, anybody else want to join in? Dr. Willis, could you help me with the translation of uh, yes, Dr. the yes, comment? Dr. Yes. Thank you. Two, two things. One of them is... Uh, Una cosa interesante cuando pasó lo de Turquía, el terremoto, es que lo que hicieron a nivel mundial fue buscar perros rescatistas y llevar perros. Pese a que tenemos un montón de tecnología, lo que se utiliza es la sensibilidad de los perros para la, la, lo, el olfato y, y la vibración de, del audio. Eso es una cosa asombrosa y nadie lo discute y está aceptado. Eh, por todo el mundo. Eso es lo primero, no sé si quieres traducir. Ok, déjame, déjame que trasla, eh, traducir hasta ahí. Well, she says that one thing very interesting about what happened in the, in the earthquake in Turkey was that eh, when they had to rescue people, they used the dogs. And it's, uh, were, uh, it's widely accepted that the, the capacity of, the, of these animals they have to smell people or uh, hear the, the sound of, of a heartbeat or, or, or somebody living be, uh, below the earth, uh, it's, it's easily accepted for rescuing, even though we have a lot of machines and apparatology of technology to sense a lot of things. Sí, dime, continua. Y lo siguiente relacionado a esto es que a mí, en, eh, as eh, casi digamos, de toda la vida, no, no sé desde cuándo lo empecé a, a percibir, pero que había algunas voces de algunas personas que me producían a mí eh, cierta vibración o, o, o que hacían que mi cuerpo se mueva ¿no? espontáneamente. Y que recién ahora estoy entendiendo esto, porque lo estoy experimentando en primera persona, que hay algunas voces que es como si es, esas esas voces o esos cuerpos hablaran con mi cuerpo directamente, no hay una traducción con un lenguaje en el medio, no sé cómo explicar esto, ni sé si entendés lo que quiero decir. Sí, 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 ok. And she says that something she discovered, uh, even training with you, is that she now understands why certain kind of voices of different people gets her and make her uh, some kind of feelings different than other voices. And she says it has not to do with the words they spell or with the meaning of the language, but with the sound of the voice, sound and vibration, that, that she can difference how she sends it. ¿Está bien ahí? Está perfecto. Y estas cosas que son pequeñas son muy interesantes cuando uno las vive en primera persona, porque al uno empezar a experimentar esto, también descubre que eso que sucede con el cuerpo de uno es como la dosis perfecta. No es que alguien está aplicando energía en nosotros, es como si nuestro cuerpo fuera sabiendo la dosis perfecta y nunca está en exceso. No sé cómo explicar eso tampoco. And well, she says she doesn't, she doesn't know how to explain this very well, but she senses that when you experience in your own body uh, the, the energy or the, or the vibration, the body knows in which amount of, of uh, dose, doses uh, you need to do. And once you experience, it's more, of course, more easily to understand. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, obviously the smells and the sound here and the light is, is exactly what these we call the, the Naidandao, the internal training, because the, the training is to, shall we say, enrich or 
re shall we say rediscover our inborn animal instinct like the birds the dogs right because in traditional chinese mythology we smell we smell we smell the patients right or ask the patients you know how how's your you know you go to the toilet how's your you you urine smell through this the smelling of urines and you can smell you know we can smell things and we try to now i'm not uh i, I just say it right so whether you believe it or not it doesn't matter you know <laughs> this is you know I'm, not, I'm sick and tired of arguing with people have you ever smelled death have you ever smelled death yes now you have good but some people wouldn't believe me but like, we are in hospitals we, we we've been in hospitals a lot of times I know, but now before, now before the guy gonna die. Yeah, before they're gonna go. Yeah, not, uh, not after they're dead. Mm. Yeah, so we all have that sense, and that's why you're saying even now they train dogs to smell a cancer. So again, we were animals. So all this training we try to do is to try to reactivate our animal instinct. That's all. You know, so like the light, you know, the sea, you know, we can see a lot of stuff. Of course, we can see a lot of stuff. Some people can't, can't even see, can even see in the dark and think. So that's why I would put that into the natural power of you know, human mind and body. It's just different words. So because you have so many different words these days. And don't forget, we talk about different language. And that's now you talk about Spanish. I can talk to you in Chinese. And now we talk English, right? And Alban can talk to me in French. Yeah. And Tony can talk to me in that Danish. <laughs> I wouldn't understand. <laughs> True. And also the can Vietnam, the Vietnamese can talk. But we that's the problem with that is the loss in translations. And we all have our our culture. We all have our culture. We all have this machine, mind and body. There's a good English word. But the way we are approaching it has been mis, shall we say, misinterpreted. And most of the time, that because we don't see the thing, they've been pushed beyond spiritual thing, the world of spirits, the world of religion. And I try to avoid that. That's all. So, yeah, there's a lot of things in common because we are only talking about one race, the human race. And we're not all human. I'm not blinking Martian. <laughs> if I can do it, everybody can do it. It's just a matter of have you got, you know, a proper training methods. That's why I'm putting all these 28 years of this, you know, just on clinical case study plus 60 years. I'm 17 now. So I got 60 years of training into the curriculum, put it back to Beijing University to get that you know, the quality, uh, recognition going as a national grade. So this is my job, but I need all, all of other professionals to help to put it down in writings. You know, that's why I call out all, you know, all the meetings. So I'm sure we all agree. We can do it. We can do it. It doesn't matter. You know, you, you know, psycho psychosis thing, like, you know, all the psychiatrists, the psychologists and, path and you know western medicine you know we're all talking about the same thing just the human mind and body that's all and they still do they still do shop shop way as treatment it's still used when and, when you have a when you have a patient that is a, a like a non-medication can can make some kind of difference they go as late instance to the shockwave because it still works and i tell you i got another <laughs> really, i got another really powerful shockwave do you know what i know what it is and you just do it with your hands so <laughs> <laughs> that's it <laughs> <laughs> i knocked him out <laughs> that's uh, a statement. <laughs> can i do can i do as nancy and ask you something <laughs> now is yeah. it okay if i ask you something about emission yeah, please. But I wanted to know every time if we, when you do emission to a patient, did it happen to you that you have to go emission from one part of your body? I mean, from the hand or from some part of your body, or just with your presence, with your with your own presence, people just sense your emission of energy. 
because in some way you have the intention, but maybe you are not in the mood of doing treatment to someone and maybe people that are next to you sense your energy. Like when you, when we hear your voice and we start doing like this. So I wanted to know if for you, if it's a big difference when you have the intention to emit energy or just by being there, you are already doing your emission. I think Nancy really want to jump in. Come on, Nancy. <laughs> Come on, Nancy. <laughs> So I remember one time when I was training and professor started, I already start yawning. And then it's like, oh, it's for other people who are not familiar, they think, ah, oh, Nancy's bored of what professor say. I'm really yawning all the time. And I, I fell asleep. Even some people during the training fell asleep during a training. It's like sitting like <laughs> knocked out, you know? But mm -hmm. professor was just talking. And yeah, so many events um, happened when pro only when professors start talking because of the, the, the sound, the frequency of his voice yeah. already triggers someone into spontaneous, like Dr. Namata as well. Yeah, I've found that many times when he talks, many times. Mm -hmm. And then Nancy is messaging me, are you falling asleep? It's like, yeah, I can't look at you. <laughs> <laughs> when the melatonin come out, is very, very difficult not to sleep, I'm telling yeah. you. And it's painful as well. If you really want to resist it, you know, mm -hmm. oh, it's painful. The eye as well. The eye, if you stop shutting the eye, mm -hmm. you know, oh, you know, the pain come through, you know, it's unbelievable. That, but that is, that is, to me, is like a biological pain, not a neurological pain, because there are three different types. You've got musculoskeletal pain, neurological pain, and also biological pain in the internal Taoist medicine. So, that's why part of my diagnosis is when I ask the patient, how do you feel? And then from then I picked it up. Is it a biological male functioning or neurological or musculoskeletal? Yes, Paul. I, yeah, uh, I'd um, agree with uh, Dr. Willis's and Nancy's comments about the melatonin coming out. I've witnessed it myself in, um, in uh, Slovakia on uh, some of the summer camps. Uh, so that, that's definitely a fact also um with my own emissions um my daughter uh, her personality changes sometimes when she comes to me and um, she'll be in a really uh, upset mood or a bad mood and within seconds of being in my presence her, her demeanor is totally lifted so i think perhaps there is some you know um um subconscious energy um interacting there uh, as 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 well as the you know when we zap people um directly so i think there is some indirect energy transference going off there because of the way that um uh, emotional uh, response um is, is portrayed for definite <clears throat> i think one of our participants kicked into spontaneous now <laughs> <laughs> but i mean when i when i say if you are with, with the intention of doing a mission or with your just your own presence, because sometimes it happens to you that you're maybe traveling in a bus that there's no one and one people enter and they have a lot of, of seats to choose and they sit right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of place, but they go right there. And it's things like, like, like people look to be near. They, they want to be near. Uh, do this happen to you, Professor? Yeah, many times, especially pretty girls. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> well, animals also, huh? if you are yeah. training, a lot of animals will be drawn to you and trying to hang around with you. Animals. When, yeah. When, whenever I practice in the park or the, the woods, and the squirrels come down from the trees and, and sit around us when we're training. Um, but yeah, animals do get attracted all the time. Yeah. Good. Now, when you answer your question, Dr. Uh, Willis, is now if I give you this example, when the first my energy bubbling up, when it come out, of my body affecting things outside my body, I haven't got a blinking clue what's happening. So like, you know, 
start burning the light bulbs. So, 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 so many of you got electrical problem, isn't it? Burn your, <laughs> burn your oven as well, don't forget. <laughs> okay. Now, and then uh, that, there's a time when it come out. I don't know what's happening uh, there at all, but that's the time that when I put my hands on my patient, because like I said, uh, as a therapist then, you know, I haven't even finished my doctor degree. You know, I haven't changed even back to my medical study from because I'm a uh, architectural uh, yeah, environmental uh, degree in uh, London University when I was young, you know, two degree. And uh, what happened is because I start burning, just like Tom. Tom was one of the patients. You know, good job he sat there now. I burn his blinking skin. So I don't know what happened there, but something's happening. So there you go. Yeah, I tried, you know, I, I didn't because I'm doing all the therapy because there's a, there's a martial art teachers as well. We got all the injuries and things, you know, people's joint come out of joint. So I had, you know, I learned all this bone setting in the, from Professor Go in the Jiangzhou University, you know. So what happened was when I was doing this, okay, I couldn't do many. I only done about four to five people, four to five people. And then like a battery, I'm drained. I'm just drained. I couldn't do any more. Even the people keep trying to book me for that, you know? And then I didn't understand why. And that time I was mostly because as a martial, as a martial, you know, fighters as myself, you know, obviously we train a lot in the martial side. We call heart energy work, ha qigong. So all the dynamic tensioning as well, you know, oh, you know all this, no, oh, all this dynamic tensioning. It works because it builds up my internal energy, right? Part of the musculoskeletal energy. But the problem is, what I found was, it was just like a battery. When I leash it out to people, right? It's gone. I could only sustain about four or five and my whole battery is gone. But later on, when I, you know, was getting a bit more older at that time, and I got go through the, you know, training from the hard, hard side of the martial art to the soft side of the martial art, external, internal. I do a lot of Xing Qi Su, a lot more. And I found this soft Qi Gong tends to open up and I connect the ancient, call it heaven, earth, and human antenna. Tin De Yan, right? So we, that's what they call it. So it's just like I have a connection with it. And then when I have that uh, phenomenon, I found that I can put out my hand at hundreds of people. Look, you know, look at all my 28 years of, of my video, you know, clean case study. Hundreds of people. I the, the, the most um, is the records I, I held is 160 people, 60 times. There was about 60 people in uh, Austria at one time as a group cleansing. And every one of them won three times. Oh, can I have some more? Can I have some more? So by the time I go around some circle and go around another circle and then 180, but I'm still alive. I didn't drain. I didn't, I didn't die myself and I've still got energy left. And then I, I realized that it wasn't my energy at all. I become a conductor because there's no way my own internal energy can share with so many people without affecting my own my own energy field so to me and i learned that like to answer your question is you know now when i open up the heaven and earth energy just comes in then i've just put my hands out boom heaven almost likely now we talk about electromagnetic field earth the lava Heat, isn't it? We talk about heat, are we not? Infrared, low frequency heat. So the underneath is boiling with all the lava. Yeah, right? in Zongzi, you know, two thousand six hundred years old. The the old old uh, Taoist priest was talking about the Taoist teacher. We breathe with our soul because that's how that's the first impact on the ground. And of course, if you know, if just like so, sometimes. Uh, one time, one time I was in, uh, I went to the holiday in that place called Tenerife, Tenerife. Yeah, just off Spanish. The minute I touched, uh, my, my foot touched of the tarmac coming off the airplane, because they don't have the indoor, you, know, you can walk down the tarmac to, to go inside, isn't it? 
the minute I touch it, it right, the floor, my yong quan, you know, the main, uh, the main uh, kidney meridian, starts thumping, boom, 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 and I thought, oh my God, what's happening here? I said to my my wife, I said, oh, what's happening here? I said, do you feel it? Is that an earthquake? And he said, what? Because I keep on feeling the vibration of it. I didn't know that yet, but later on, when I go to the hotel and then look up, pick up tourists and they say, oh, there's a volcano visit. And I, then I realized the entire Tenerife is a freaking huge volcano. So that's where all the lava comes in and all oh. the heat coming up. So this is why it's very important that to answer your question is that, no, I can't help it because it's, I'm not having a nerve just go through me. That's why I attract people. You know, sometimes I attract some nice people, but most of the time I, I attract really nasty people, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Jealousy. It's emotional, you know, narrative, isn't it? <laughs> Paul had uh, something to say. I saw him walking around with this uh, detector. Yeah, you was talking about when your energy is bubbling up, that we, um, we can accidentally, our energies can break things like uh, light bulbs, etc., um, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that I was uh, affecting the, the smoke alarm. <laughs> I've replaced the battery several times. So now the battery, as you can see, the battery's gone. I have to take the thing down because I just keep setting it off. There's, there's nothing, it's going off for no reason with new batteries. Um, and I can only put it down to energy. There's, there's nothing, there's no smoke, there's no steam. There's nothing that, you know, physically should trigger the thing. Oh, I, I had a similar event. I was in my bedroom with my child and, and that we have this called Timio. It plays sounds and music, etc. And then um, all of a sudden it started to play music. Like who set it on? My daughter, mom, what's happening? This started playing a night music because I was like, <laughs> oh, let's, um, let's, she wanted me to sing a song, a lullaby before sleep. And I was saying, and then later on the that music thing started to play. I said, we'll switch it on. I need to switch it on. So it's in the house. Man. Yes, <laughs> there's a big people guys in the house. <laughs> on the subject of um, zapping as well, um, funny thing, um, it's one of your friends actually, I was uh, zapping once, and the person that was helping, um, when, when we put energy into people to trigger spontaneous reactions, Quite often, the person will just um, shut down and, and fall asleep and go straight to delta uh, brainwave frequency. And that's what happened in this case. And, and, and so when we do that, we get a person standing behind so they can catch the patient and lower them to the ground gently so they don't fall or hurt themselves. Well, um, I'll not mention the lady's name, but it was a friend of yours, Nancy, in Slovakia one year. And my colleague who was stood behind to help me he um, made the foolish mistake of touching the patient while I was zapping her, and he ended up going into full-blown spontaneous, <laughs> like double zapped. So she went, boom, straight down. I ended up low to the ground myself, and he went, you know, off, off doing a... Oh, he... turned, turned into a bird and then a tiger or something. <laughs> doing five, on five animals. So, yeah, it's very interesting science. Yes. Now, this is why it's important that now, even Tom was trying to help with all the modern machine, mm. that you don't have to hit five animals coming out of the human. There's mm. no machine can do that. Right? There's no machine can trigger people with the five emotional outbursts as well. Right? The anger, the frustration, the worries. What machine can trigger that? So that's why there's a lot I think that, you know, hasn't been connected yet, but we try to find more, try to find more connections so everybody can help you to, if you have different, uh, you know, experience you can join in and, okay. Good. Any Thank you so much, doctor. And may I say, a great master is the one that is surrounded with masters, not with a lot of students. And here you have Paul, Nancy, Dr. Nimarta, a lot of doctors and, and, and people trying to help other people. And that is because of you. So thank you. Now, I'm not a master. 
Yeah. Well, it, you have to take it that way. There's a one very good uh, English saying. Okay. Uh, Paul was listening already. Yeah. Jack of all trades, master of none. <laughs> I don't want to be that. <laughs> I'd rather just specialize in one thing and one thing only. True. Yeah. But because we are specializing in every few fuse of study we all come together and that hopefully that we turn out to be something that we can shall we say help more people shall we say help more people at the end of the day is people's medicine like i said we look after ourselves first when the energy bubbling up when you put it out there we can help other people you know so uh, to me once you learn it we can it's it's free because like now, you know, I don't need any more external medications. I don't need, I have, I don't know how much money I save myself anyway. So and then we can save other people because it's getting really expensive, this medical care. It is just ridiculous, isn't it? You know, so, so I hope that uh, every one of you will join in and uh, train well and then uh, become a, a also part, you know, obviously part of the A team, shall we say, our research team. And then uh, hopefully in the future, you can put out your hands and provide public health or shall we say affordable price, affordable price for patients instead of like 30,000 pound, that kind of money, that ridiculous money for, for cancer treatment and things like that. How many people can do that? Christ, yeah, <laughs> true. I do have to say, Professor, I really appreciate meeting with you and what you're doing because, because you're i've met many people online as well as face to face and you are one of the first that actually emits energy and i can see you don't get drained maybe or maybe on the other occasion but i have been with other people who are shaolin variety masters and um i've been drained at points where I knew it wasn't benevolent and um, so I really appreciate what you're teaching and I know I'm a beginner but you know I'm excited and I'm, I'm you know it's challenging also I, I've used loads of modalities like thermography so I'm aware of all these imaging modalities which excites me to combine the research for this but I really really I, ha I had to say that because I appreciate your genuineness and your sincerity for what you're doing and um i think i felt i had to say that and I've, and I've been thinking oh i must say this to him i must say this to him because of the experience that i've had with other people where i've had to let i've had to move on because it wasn't appropriate and many times there were classes people fell ill and then they were excuses well maybe that's what they had to go through but i have noticed when people are prominent that even though they're very good at talking, the talk and whatever they do in that specific area, because I am sensitive and it's not a judgment or a criticism, but I don't feel the energy, maybe because they're drained or whatever themselves or tired, but I don't get that with you because you've understood the whole, you, you understand, you are a visiting professor because you know about the self-healing capabilities and the capacity that we all have which i've always believed in but i just needed you to come along to confirm that for me even though you know <laughs> even though i've still got to learn which i'm excited about but i am so grateful really i'm grateful thank you dr namata just uh, uh Thuy from vietnam oh, today is a wonderful uh, talk that i learned um Actually, I introduced myself. I am Thuy Alat. I study hypnosis in the US and also massage therapy. Since I joined this group, I feel like a, this is my life here. What I learned from the video you show is the sensitive of the animal. And we are animal. And I just tell myself, I train until I have the sensitive enough to help people. Because in the, um, like Tom says, in the medical field, a lot of machine. And I study, um, um, meditation and the people put here all create the machine, but I myself have to feel it. 
So the value I learned is actually when I learned hypnosis, they, they teach me how to have the different wave, brain wave, that in the past, the people go to the temple, just sleep. But now you just make like a sleep deeply in the Delta brain wave. That's the key word I learned. So I myself, as a team in Vietnam, but I will um, inspire my friends now started to understand that the wonderful thing in the machine right here, appreciate. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I just want to compliment uh, Tui from Vietnam because what time is it at your place, Tui? This is, uh, I um, start from here, 2.30 a.m. in uh, on Friday. Mm. But so, I never yeah. miss because I love this class very much. <laughs> See, so, uh, Tui has been, has been uh, coming, uh, joining our sessions in the middle of the night and I really respect her for that. So uh, thank you very much for joining and also suffer <laughs> like insomnia right now. And uh, also oh, okay. thank you. We have, uh, thank you, Dr. Ku, Barbara Ku from Hong Kong. I think he, she is still four or five o'clock in the morning as well. So thank you very much. Yeah, good. Anybody else want to finish it? I think we had a good evening and I hope that uh, maybe next time if any any doctors you want to share some of the experience and things and uh, we can call a meeting, you know, all the medical professions. So and now I'm going to edit all this and uh, and I'll put it on Facebook and uh, YouTube so more people would know we are all on the same boat. True. We are trying to help people. We are trying to promote the self-healing and the self-defense, obviously, because of movements, right? The, the girls, you can do it. Yeah, we're all animals. Of course, we're all animals. We can defend ourselves, isn't it? True. <laughs> you know, so maybe then the, we can work together and for the next generation, because if I said to myself, right, I'm 17 now. So if I don't put down all my lifetime work, if I popped up or kicked my bucket, Right, I have to. You have to wait for, for another person to come along. <laughs> so I thought maybe before I kick my bucket, I might as well put a correct amount and put it back into the Beijing University or Shandong University. So everybody, or also in the future, right? Yeah, Doctor Willis, Doctor Worth, so we can you know, and also start maybe faculty talk to your your Argentina in Spanish. We can I can take the curriculums to the. We can have one all over the world. So more people, you know, because you know who is the best teacher? Yourself, the body, mind and body. Are we not talking about mind and body? But can we be a bit more specific? And I always said to people, I said, it doesn't bother me if you train with me or you don't train, you know, with me. It doesn't bother me. They're all good. They're all good. Okay, but at least how do you justify is it good? So if you talk about self-healing, hey, let us see some clinical case study. Don't talk about it. Everybody can talk about it. Blah, 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 blah. Or just like in all the hospital, in all the university, right? They just put out some patients there. Please do it. Do it. Just do it. That's it. So it's so simple to see if these masters are they really qualified? Yeah. So at least we've done our job. So in the future, when we look at some of these unqualified masters from China, right, we got big problem inside China even today. So don't just look at the Chinaman's. Oh, he's a master. We got 1.4 billions of us in China. So how many masters are then? Huh? <laughs> I can say it to because I'm a blinking Chinaman. True. We have a lot of unqualified teachers calling themselves this and that. So my job right, is trying to put the things in front of you, whether people take it or people don't you know, want to know, that's not my problem. True? That's their problem. So that's why as a team, we can only do more clinical case study, you know, or more data and then put it there. So people with the brain, shall we say, with the intelligent enough, they know. And the people still don't know, right? Yeah. So, like I said, 
a lot of people still, you know, give me very negative narrative, you know, opinion. Doesn't matter. I'm so used to it now. So if you're comparing a professor with a primary school teacher or even a college teacher, that kind of student, do I really want it? They don't even have the intelligence. They don't even have the mentality after what, what we're doing now. What's the point? True. So we can only give them a chance. Hopefully, slowly, we change the, you know, help them to change the way of thinking. That's why it's inspiration. Don't forget Kai Mong Gao Fa in Chinese. That means in university, we don't teach. We don't teach, you know, people just the knowledge. We inspire. We inspire our students to think. Now, I inspire you to think, my job's done. <laughs> my job's done. I, and I wish you the best. And also, a lot, of, a lot of teachers, they worry that student is getting better than them. That is really stupid. Stupid with mentality of the teacher. They call themselves teachers. Now, which ancient Chinese have a saying, right? Ching chut yu lam, you sing yu lam. So the basket. The basket is made up of, you know, dry fruit and whatever, yeah? But when you put in there, it's fruits, isn't it? Fresh. Of course, you want the contents or the fresh fruit. You don't want a blinking basket, isn't it? And I'm the old basket now. Of course, I want my student to be better than me. If my students are not better than me, I fail. True. Of course, I want you guys to be better than me because science are moving on. Do you like it or not? Okay, we're moving on slowly and it's moving on. Now, years ago, do we have this? No. I still remember I've got two upstairs, those big blinking telephone. <laughs> yeah. And now we move on to this now. I have to change. I have to learn. You know, so that's why it's very Im important that I wish all of you would be much better than me because you are teaching your students and will be next generation and next generations. So that's why my job is done. My job is done, you know, so. We could say you are like a kind of portal. Portal? Because uh, you, you uh, like a time portal. machine. Portal, yeah, like a time machine because you bring to the future wisdom of the ancestors. You are the bridge. Thank you. Well, at least I got over 200 uh, video lectures. <laughs> so deep Facebook now, at least, you know, that would go forever. And now we put in YouTube. How's that? <laughs> and I need more of you later on. I will want more of you to come up with clinical case studies like mm -hmm. Paul. You know, that more people filmed it. Every one of you, Dr. Willis and all of you, put your hands out, capture, capture the, you know, how to, I tell you, the best teachers to taught me, they were my patients. They were my patients because that is the honest re reactions of the patients. That's the truth. That's the Tao. I, I, I still remember one story about one of the students that had participated uh, twice in the webinars on Tuesday. And uh, he's an um, acupuncture student that came to my practice for apprenticeship. And I recommended to join this course because, because he's an acupuncturist. And he was there the first session. And then the next day I asked him, oh, what do you think of it? Well, something happened last night, he said, after the session, he closed down his laptop. He was listening to a music and he closed down his laptop. The next day when he woke up, his laptop with the lid closed started to play the music that we listened to it last night. So all of a sudden he's like, my music was starting playing. And also he said that um, also his emotional, uh, he got this emotional outburst after the webinar. And then he was blaming Professor. He must have triggered me <laughs> because all of a sudden he got very emotional. And then the, the week after that, you know, he came to see me and he talked me through it. And then also said, 
oh, I'm, I'm, I'm working on my energy field and the, the conversation with professor, because he was actually asking quite a lot of questions compared to the general uh, viewing public. So um, something happened there, like uh, uh, Dr. Willis was asking if there's any triggers, you know, so, and he was a very nice case study because he has never been to professor's lecture before in the past, maybe once, but very at the beginning, like uh, two years ago. And now he's like, um, just one session with you asking questions. He got triggered into spontaneous by crying because he had a lot of um, crying uh, and emotional crying. And then he said, I don't know what happened. And also my laptop starting playing music. I don't know what happened. <laughs> so that was quite a nice experience. I know, I know. So good. Thank you for sharing, Nancy and uh, everyone. I think no more. And uh, I think we call it a day because, you know, I'm tired as well. But yes. <laughs> it's so many tired. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, when I feel tired, I feel you want to do some more training. <laughs> to regulate to regulate my energy level thank you very much professor for tonight's session okay, also... i'll say thank you very much okay. and uh oh uh dr butler i'd love to hear some of your genetic view on on the energy work there's a blast biochemical isn't it? You're on the dna because i'm sure the energy work affects the dna yeah I can find some study to share. Yeah, lovely. Study. Lovely. <laughs> lovely. Good. Thank okay. you. Much. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Have a Bye. great evening. Bye, everyone. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.